the first thing I thought of when we lost Carolyn Reedy was that she was a reader. She ran this huge company. She knew everybody in the publishing world. She knew intricately how it works, but she was a reader. We all have something special that we remember about Carolyn, something that means something to us. For some, it was her intuitive feel for the publishing industry. And for others, it was her passion for books. Carolyn was a friend, not just to authors and other folks in the publishing business, but to booksellers, and frankly, to anybody who picked up a book. She was always sort of pushing and pushing my work and making sure that I knew that my work had value and that I had a space in the company, which, you know, for me, as somebody with a chip on my shoulder as big as mine, it was comforting, for sure. I just can't imagine anybody more deserving uh, than Carolyn Reedy to receive this recognition. And the contributions she has made uh, to the book business, uh, more broadly to the uh, literary landscape in America, are just uh, unparalleled. I had assumed that the business people in publishing would be focused on business and not on books. And when it comes to Carolyn Reedy, I couldn't have been more wrong. She was very involved with all three of my novels that I have published with Simon & Schuster, Scribner. Carolyn was in, involved in 12 of my books over the last two decades. Carolyn was through and through a book person. When you go to her office, there were books or manuscripts everywhere. Truthfully, I think she looked at publishing as a sacred trust between the publisher and the author, including the public. You could write whatever you wanted. She might disagree, she might agree, she might have some questions, but it was your book. Tamper-proof environment is the perfect environment for an author. When I came in, uh, people weren't really checking for the kind of story that I was writing, the kind of diversity that I was trying to push for. She created a culture um, of, of openness, a culture with a wide vision. The only thing I really knew about Carolyn Reedy is that she loved me. I've only even met Carolyn Reedy one time. It felt like the greatest long distance relationship of all time. I think Carolyn's legacy is understanding how to move the publishing industry into each new age that comes along, including the digital revolution. She was CEO during a hard time, hard time for books, hard time for the economy. And instead of trying to paper over that, she said, okay, we've got to change in certain areas. But, you know, the book selling world had some ups and downs during uh, all that th those period, but she never stopped pressing to try to figure out what it was and what it is that we could do to be better. Among the many things that made Carolyn special is that she knew it was about something larger than herself. It wasn't just, can we make a profit this quarter? It's, can we make the world a better place? She did it through books. She did it through the emotional connection her books had with people, but she did it through everything from the National Book Awards to all the organizations that she participated in. You knew that she was motivated by the basic concept that we're here for a short while and we have to make sure we make it about something larger than just ourselves.